in thousand tunes the big banana land. So if you wish to travel and you take the time to go along that sunny coastline where you never see the snow, it's warm in winter, cool in spring, and the scenery's something grand. You find it most inviting in the big banana land. From the hills of Mullum. To Yarra Happily, where the people make their living from the big banana tree. In the hills around Coffs Harbor is where it all began. So plan your next vacation in the big banana land. Down on the old plantation in the big banana It's a pleasure to have the opportunity to congratulate the Big Banana on turning 50. I regret that I'm unable to join you for tonight's celebration, but I'm delighted that I can recognise the importance of the North Coast's most iconic landmark. The Big Banana is synonymous with Coffs Harbour and was Australia's original big thing. Generations of travellers have grown up stopping off at the Big Banana during their holiday travels, and this continues today. No family car trip up the Pacific Highway would be complete without the obligatory photo in front of the big banana and sampling those famous chocolate coated bananas. But the big banana today is a far cry from the landmark which local banana grower John Landy opened in 1964. So much more has been achieved beyond the original aim to encourage more people to stop at John's roadside banana store. It's become a world-renowned attraction to the point where it appears that no matter wherever in the world you go, if you say you're from Coffs Harbour, people will mention the Big Banana. Except perhaps in the United States where they would say the Big Banana, but we won't hold that against them. As times have changed, the attraction has adapted and broadened its appeal. The original offering of a tractor ride through the plantation with some food and souvenirs has been replaced by a tourism offering which is so much more. As the original big thing, the big banana is certainly the most successful. Whilst the big prawn is now part of a bunning store, and the big oyster has been turned into a car yard, the big banana has retained its identity as an important part of the Coffs Harbour tourism scene. I congratulate and commend the owners and staff of the big banana for the achievement of 50 years in business and look forward to this community asset going from strength to strength in the years to come. It's good to be part of the Big Bananas 50th birthday celebration. Australians are a big people and because we're a big people, we've always been attracted to big things. And although there are more than 150 big things across our land, including the big prawn, the big pineapple and the big sheep, there is none more iconic than Australia's very first big thing, the big banana. When John Landy thought up this traffic stopper, he could scarcely have imagined it turning a roadside banana stall into the centre of a robust local industry. Today, no trip up or down the coast is complete without visiting this Coffs Harbour icon. I visited the Big Banana as a kid, and my children did as well. It's provided many a weary parent with a place to rest many an enthusiastic tourist with a uniquely memorable photograph, and many an excited child the chance to indulge in a banana flavoured treat. I congratulate you on this milestone. The Big Banana has contributed so much to the community of Coffs Harbour, and I hope you have a great celebration. <laughs>